Hello and welcome back to Crash 2, um, Crash 2, Part 22 of the Insane Trilogy Collectathon Edition as we enter Night Flight in order to get the uh, box gem that I skipped out on because attempting to collect all the boxes in either the bonus set, the bonus segment, or uh, just in general because of this stupid dragonfly that doesn't like us. This dragonfly has no sparks. In the end of the carrot, we view, we can observe that, in my opinion, and I think in reality, that the Insane Trilogy makes these darkness levels way easier because the draw distance is a little better defined. And it doesn't succumb you to total darkness when the darkness, le uh, when the, when your fly leaves. Well, uh, that, that happens because, um... What what is it? So so that hap that happens because there was a fire there was a firefly nearby. Yeah, but that but you know uh, in the original version in the uh, in the original release, um, I was assuming that they're assuming that you were not surrounded by a firefly at the time. Yeah, see you could actually see the platform still there. Uh, almost. I mean, yeah, barely, buddy. Sure. I mean, barely you can still see the platforms, but in the normal game, you could not see the platforms there uh, when uh, when the Firefly left, because it was just total blackness. Alright, bonus time. Now, getting all the, time. All, all the boxes in this bonus segment is a bitch. Because you have to follow the Firefly. And you have to slow down for no well, good goddamn reason. It's not the it's not the following the firefly part that's actually that's actually the difficult part here. It's the keeping up with the firefly at the tail end because at the tail end they want you to destroy a bunch of is it armored crates that you have to destroy? I think it's I think you just have to crawl. You have to crawl at some point. No, it's this crap right here. This is what slows you down. It's that crap. It's this crap. This this is especially egregious. Okay, use the silhouette see, there's still of the You can still see Wampa Fruit And there. I still died. <laughs> so there. <laughs> yeah, because, you know, your TV probably doesn't have an adequate brightness setting allowing you to see <laughs> the, uh, the Wampa Fruit there. But they still are there, you know. Fuck. <laughs> and you can see them in the video. Yeah, Claire, you can see them in the video. Just stop, stop making little girls fucking fall with their laptops in a bottomless pit. Gee whiz. Doink. For the record, I don't blame you for not being able to see. Uh, just, <laughs> uh, just because the platforms show up in the video does not mean that they show up on the TV. We have learned this from Brain Scratch Comps. There is sensation and there is perception. All right, now, now that I totally got this in the bag. Yeah. All right. Because you're on the ending platform. On the ending right platform, there. and the only boxes left are the nitro crates. Whoo! All right, that's a that's... checkpoint. Uh, yay. Go. 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 You're not sliding enough. And we're going to just sneak back here real quick. And this is why you okay, need to do a portion of the death two? room. Those are the only two boxes in the so whole death room. Do not be fooled. Death pass? What's up? All right. Those are the only two that you need from the death pass? Hell yeah! And right at the tail end, and they and they were nice enough to put cool. a dragonfly there. Actually, the placement of that dragonfly tells me immediately that that's how you're supposed to get the box gem. Right. And because the end of the level is right here. Woo! Yay! Yay! Hey, I I heard that increased run cycle, Cloud. You used the run button there. Well, yeah, I mean, it doesn't fucking matter if it's the ending room corridor. <laughs> True. You got mail. <laughs> Yay. She has jazz hands. Alright, so now we are moving on to Spaced Out to get the, uh, the super special awesome last gem of the game. Unlock a new path by earning all of the colored gems. Which I did not show off because I did not have the colored gems. I showed off the uh, box gem here, though, right? Yes, you did. And that's why we're not getting the box okay. gem. So it's good to have at least that tucked away. I can also am at liberty to ignore all the boxes. 
for this and path. That is an artificial checkpoint box. <laughs> Did you die a bunch on the way here or some shit? Yep. <laughs> I, I did actually. Oh. Oh, you yeah. I I, rem I remember. I have actually seen this path before. Um, this path <laughs> can be very difficult. Uh, it is pretty much segmented up into a bunch of different types of hazards. Type uh, one electricity. Um, uh, okay, so my and. <laughs> Go, go, Cloud. I, I'm, I'm just stuttering. Well, let me just let me just point out that in in terms of fairness, the only difference between what an insane trilogy playthrough of this gem pathway would look like and what the PS1 would look like is that you probably would not be starting from an artificial checkpoint box brought by 2018 game design. You are probably starting from the very beginning of the level every single time you try this every single time you try this pathway. That can get annoying. Okay. Because the first thing you have to do is survive a series of death challenges. Yellow path, go! Collect the crash heads. It's like they know that I'm gonna die a shitload of times. They do know that you're going to die a shitload of times. That's the whole point of this path. It's it it's a Kill. challenge pathway uh, because Kill. of the uh, uh, the of uh, the com not Kill. not even necessarily the combination of elements, but uh, the just the sheer amount of elements that they're trying to kill you with. You yeah. jumped on his head. I didn't know that you could jump on those guys' heads. Just gotta get the height in order to fight. Yay! And the purple gem will take you to the finish line. The special gem. The Woo! super special awesome last yeah! gem of the game. That's all 42 We gems. got all the gems! We did it. We had 100% at Crash 2. Almost. There's just one last all thing to do. Yeah, all that's left to do is to go refight, uh, refight Cortex. Oh shit! Are are you gonna show us the refight of Cortex? No. <laughs> you you have acquired all of the gems. Incredible. <laughs> the crystals are not the only means of harnessing planetary energy. <laughs> the gems have that ability as well, and with them, I can destroy the Cortex vortex forever. Laser installation. Sure thing, brain. Yeah, I was gonna say, I thought you might recognize the brain. And now you can actually go up and let's see what's uh, what Embryo's been up to on the top floor. It's probably counting. Oh, so we don't have to we don't have to refight uh, Cortex to get nope. this? Nope. Alright. Okay. I did not make any jump cuts. <laughs> and fire. Swing. Well, in the uh, original release, he just hit. He just actually hit the space station and it explodes. He didn't cut it with the uh, with the bladed laser. Oh no! But where is it going? Find out. In Crash 3! And it just dumps you out of the so elevator. Alright. Hold it. It, yep. just jump, it just dumps you out of the elevator? It doesn't, that, it doesn't replay the credits? Yep. That's literally it. That's That was the ending cutscene, and now all you got to do is uh, just have a little fun. So I decided to end this video by doing probably one of the more visually exciting levels in the Insane Trilogy, Pack Attack. Alright. I wanted to. I That's wanted to. Hmm. For the jet pack. I wanted to take some time to really, um, to really appraise this game for how goddamn good it looks. Like, it does look awesome. Polish has become so important to me that this is one of the things that will keep me interested, and even make me want to put up with bullshit like dying on difficult segments where there really should be a checkpoint box.
Yeah, the hey, Ensign trailer I'm just does look really nice. Um, all in all, I enjoy Crash 2. I don't enjoy Crash 2 enough to, like, play it every year, like I do with, you know, Spyro 3. But, you know, Crash 2 is a good game, for the most part. I refuse to 100% the game. I don't think the, the amount of stress and, uh, and, dif and difficulties uh, associated with it are worth it. Just for the extent, just for the extended uh, credits and true ending, especially since I don't give a shit about Crash 3. Really, I have played and beat Crash 3. I think Crash 3 is the objectively better game between the two, but I have a nostalgic boner for Crash 2 over Crash 3 because I actually owned Crash 2 instead of Crash 3. Right. Yeah, same with me. If it wasn't for my buddy or my cousin, I would have never played uh, Crash Crash 3 Warped. But now, the, what, do you think that, yeah, that Crash? Uh, what do you think is the better game between Crash Two and Crash Three? Which is the better game? I honestly, I think because Crash, one thing that I never got over about Crash Three was that every time you entered a bonus, every time you entered a bonus stage, it was a play on the Crash Three theme. Every time you entered a secret area inside of a level, it was it's the secret level theme, just played with different instruments depending on which level you're doing. In Crash 2, they have a dedicated music MIDI track for every single unique game situation. The hidden pathways in Snowgo all sound the same. The hidden pathways in Hang 8 or in the sewer level or e hell, even in the Boulder, even in uh, Unbearable, it has its own unique music track. It's just a lot more variety, which leads me to believe like every good every good composer w might just blow their load on one game and then not have enough material to hold up any uh, subsequent titles, like Koji Kondo. That uh, Koji Kondo still pr uh, are redu uh, still produces different unique tracks for Zelda. One hundred percent. And with that, we have successfully reached the end of the carrot for Crash Two. Uh, Crash Two is a good game. We enjoy it. Crash 3 is better, but I don't want to go play it. Double jump. Rocket launcher. Double jump. All these awesome. and more. Be safe. In the land of tomorrow.